Already we can start making plans for Christmas dinner. Smith's Food and Drug Store, the sponsors of our next segment, has a great holiday ham recipe. Take a look. Hello everybody, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Okay, it's that time of year where you're probably going to be cooking a holiday ham for whatever reason. Everybody always does, and I know we do. But I'm going to show you my method. It's a, I think it's better than the usual way of just throwing this big thing in the oven, putting some, some glaze on the outside. But what happens is that glaze just all runs down to the bottom and you don't really get glaze on the ham, which is a weird way to do it. So I'm going to show you my way. We're going to start by making the glaze. This is more method than anything. This glaze here is just a, re a recipe that I use. You can use whatever whatever glaze you, you have or you want to do. But I'm going to melt some butter there. And then into that butter, I'm going to go some garlic. And then let that kind of come down to as it cooks. But anyway, the secret to mine is that we're going to take the ham off of the bone. So what I'm going to do is just start cutting it. So we're this has not been cooked or anything. Oh. It's been cooked. I misspoke. So all of this ham, they've, they've already been cooked. You're just warming it, basically. So what I want to do is just cut it into, into bite-sized pieces and put it in a baking dish and just kind of layer it in there. And then, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it next. So let me just go ahead and get this all cut down, and then we'll, we'll move on. Okay, so I've almost got all that ham cut off of the bone. You have to do this anyway, so you might as well do it beforehand so that you can get all the flavor on all your ham so you can kind of see where we're going with this. So our ham's all cut up already and the way we want it to be. And the purpose of this is just so that every piece of ham has flavoring and glaze on it rather than just a few little pieces so everybody gets the good one. So we have our bar butter and garlic going here and goes some brown sugar and then some nutmeg cloves, actually it's cinnamon cloves, Dijon mustard, chicken broth, and then honey. And again, this, this is just my recipe. You can put whatever glaze you want to do for this and it will be fantastic. It's more of the method than anything else. So let me go ahead and give that a stir and then we're, this is just going to go in the oven. We're going to cover it for the first probably 25 minutes at 375 and then we're going to uncover it for the last maybe 10 minutes just so it can kind of get the, the oven on it there and get it nice and crispy on top but you get the idea. So I'm going to get this covered and we will get it in the oven. Here we go. Okay, now this is done. So remember the last part of the cooking process I did with the cover off. <clears throat> and so you can see that the glaze has had an opportunity to penetrate every last piece of ham in there, which is exactly what we want. So this is how I would serve it. So just get it out of there, put it on a big platter, like so. Maybe we'll get some of, that, some of that glaze and put on top of it. Let's dump it on there, why not? You can find all these ingredients at your local Smiths. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for shopping, and we will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. All right, that went fast. If you want the full recipe for a Smiths food and drug store nearest you, go to smithsfoodanddrug.com.